While some may see dump sites as nothing more than garbage heaps, those who work in them say otherwise. At this dump site, we separate decomposable rubbish from that which is not, with the first group used as fertilizer. And the second is found other ways to be useful, as you will see for yourselves shortly. Things like boxes are set aside for reuse in factories whenever possible. So what people may call junk is actually a small percentage of this. For a year now, Coped has also found a way of making construction materials from single-use plastics and things like glass, grinding them into fine particles first. After they are ground up, we place them in this pan for two hours of heating below the fire. And after they turn into liquid, we then use a machine to shape them into whatever we want as they cool, be it tiles or plastic blocks. It all depends on what we want to make. Such recycling efforts are being seen as a possible solution for the construction industry's environmental dilemma. You know that regular sand is acquired from marshlands and hillsides, which affects the environment. Regular cement also requires many things to manufacture. We therefore decided to replace both with fine powder made from glass and plastic. We want 90% of the things thrown away to be recycled in this way, with just 10% remaining in the dump site. People who use such materials say they are both durable and reliable. I believe people can trust the durability of such materials because plastic can last for more than 100 years in the ground, as experts have confirmed. That means these tiles can also last a long time after being compressed in this way. I could have chosen regular tiles, but I chose these because I believe they will last. Officials at the Rwanda Environment Management Authority say any recycling efforts should be supported. Recycling Recycling is necessary and a number of companies have begun to do so, especially for plastics. We support such efforts because when things like plastic end up in those dump sites, they become a problem to the environment. Eight million metric tons of plastic waste are dumped into oceans annually, affecting 80% of marine life. If nothing is done, 50 years from now, there will be more plastic in the world's oceans than there is fish. 